Hi there, and thank you for tuning in on this demo video of Verbis for Salesforce CMS. My name is Mozier, and I will be your demo host during this video. We're actually going to start off by looking into the Salesforce CMS system and then bridge over to the Verbis application. If you're working with Salesforce CMS, then you're already familiar with what a workspace is, because I will start from that end. In this scenario, the content creator has already created the main content with all the photos and text that they desire. Also, they have marked the content piece as ready for translation, which starts the translation process. Now simply, they need to export the workspaces that they desire to translate. So export it and then go to your email and right click to copy link address. This is a workaround in CMS that enables you to actually download the file. Now go to a new tab and paste the file in the browser URL. This will enable your XLIP file to be downloaded. From here, you simply press on your application view and choose Verbis. When entering the application, the first thing you might want to do is to start a translation project. By clicking on translation project and then new, a new pop-up window will appear. Choose your record type by selecting Salesforce CMS and now enter the name of your translation project and the target deadline. The target deadline helps Verbis to send auto reminder and assignments to the internal or external translators. Choose which content articles you want to translate and then submit. When your content is now imported to Verbis, you have different tools to help you work with it. First, your content will be divided in different sections, such as text and body. When the main content gets visualized to you, you validate that you have been choosing the right file. Now switch to the tab of versions and see all of your language that you previously decided on in the Salesforce CMS. And also you can see who the validator or external translator is. Your internal validator or external translator will now receive an email that they need to do a translation quality control. By simply clicking on open version, they now enter Verbis directly in the Salesforce instance. The validator can only see the assigned content page and nothing else. When the validator now starts to work in the Salesforce instance, there will be two versions of the content visualized for them. To the right is the main content in this scenario in English, and to the left is the machine translated French version. The translator can make instant edits in their view. When the validator detects a translation error, they can easily press Ctrl and E and the translation dictionary appears. Now the validator sets a rule for this phrase by informing Verbis that the phrase the right training should always be translated to the right training, even if it is in French. This now gets registered in the dictionary memory and from now on that phrase will be translated according to the new definition. By scrolling down, the validator can visualize all the pictures in the content and the hyperlinks attached to it as well. If desired to change a hyperlink and direct it to a new site, for example, a new French website in this case, the validator can simply press the Edit Links button. A list will appear with all the hyperlinks and the text attached to each hyperlink. From this view, they can quickly edit all the desired changes. When the entire content piece has been proofread, the validator now submits it for approval. Now the original content creator gets a notification that their main content has been translated and approved. By going into Verbis and looking at the approved list, they easily can choose to press CMS Workspace 
to either choose to redirect to the CMS workspace or download the translated XLIP files. In this scenario, we're first downloading it and then redirecting it to the Salesforce CMS. We import our translation file and voila, now you have all the language needed for launch. Thank you for listening in to this demo.